Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Garding, Senior VP at True Speed Communication, and in that role, I also serve as the Director of Communication for Stuart Haas Racing. One, I thank you for your time this morning. Certainly appreciate it. Um, up here is Jeff Burton, our interim driver of the number 14 car this weekend. Greg Zipidelli, VP of Competition, Stuart Haas Racing, and Brett Frude, Executive VP, Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, there are going to be some questions today that we will be unable to answer, and we simply ask for your understanding. Uh, there is an ongoing investigation into the tragic accident that took place last Saturday night, and uh, we're going to respect the process and the, uh, and the people involved in that investigation. Um, with that, we're here today simply to brief everyone on our current plans, and that includes Jeff Burton in the number 14 car here at Michigan. And uh, no decisions have been made regarding any upcoming races. And with that, we'll uh, open it up to questions. We'll really just take a handful and, uh, and go on about our, our day here. We'll start it off. If you can, raise your hand and state your name and affiliation. Uh, we'll begin right here with Nate. Uh, Nate Ryan, USA Day Sports. Uh, Brett, was this decision not to have Tony race this weekend, was it based on his emotional state? Was it based on the on ongoing investigation? And if the, it's the latter, will he not race again until the investigation is complete? Uh, this decision was Tony's. Um, emotional week for him. He's grieving. Uh, made the decision he's not ready to get in the race car. And we'll take it uh, week by week, and it's going to be up to Tony when he's ready to get back in the car. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. Uh, Brett, uh, where is Tony? Have you, do you, are you in contact with him constantly? And how much is he playing a role as far as other decisions um, at SHR? Tony's surrounded right now by his closest friends and family. Um, we're obviously in, in contact with him. And his uh, location is of a private nature right now. Claire, and then... Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Uh, for, for Mike and for both of you, how's everything, sponsorship, everything at Stuart Haas Racing holding up, and for Jeff stepping in the race car after a situation like this? From a sponsor standpoint, um, we've got the greatest sponsors in the world. Um, they're very caring. Uh, they understand it's an emotional time. Um, there's much sympathy for the family of the young man, um, and they care for Tony. We've had a great deal of support from our, from our partners as far as uh, getting ready for this weekend. The task at hand for Greg and the rest of our crew is to prepare four cars um, for our drivers and figure out how to win this weekend at Michigan. Yeah, you know, my role here is to, to you know, hopefully pr provide a little stability, um, you know, give that team a chance to, to have the most success they can have in a, in a very difficult situation. And hopefully uh, me being here in some kind of way can, can help, you know, I don't know how, but hopefully I can find a way to help a, a healing process start. I don't know how that is, but that would be my ultimate goal for everybody, you know. So, so you know, obviously it's an awkward situation for everybody, but it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of people at Stuart Haas Racing that work really, really hard and uh, deserve 100% effort from me, and that's what they're going to get. Uh, Pete Pistoni, Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio, MRN.com. For you, Jeff, can you maybe walk us through when they, the team reached out to you, and can you also give us a reaction to the NASCAR rule that was announced about 45 minutes ago? Well, you know, I think NASCAR is in a, in a position to, to in, in some cases, immediately respond uh, to, to situations. And as we all know, NASCAR has been unbelievable in, in regard to safety. Uh, I believe has led the industry as it relates to safety for for the last 10, 10 years or so. And uh, I think NASCAR does a really good job of, of looking at all the information and making the best decision they can make. So, you know, I, I support the decision if they feel like it's what they what they need to do. Um, you know, and so, you know, that's, that's pretty simple. I just, I'm proud that they, they want safety to be on the forefront. They, they, and that's what, that's what this rule is all about. And I'm sorry, I don't, what was the other question? Um, uh, Greg reached out to me, my, my days are getting blurred, uh, Greg reached out to me, was it, when, I think Wednesday morning to ask my, uh, ask if I was interested, and, um, 
so it started the process. And it, it was like just in case Tony decides, you know, it wasn't. We didn't really know, uh, but, but it was a Wednesday morning conversation. And he gets up earlier than I do, by the way. <laughs> Wolfgang and then Bob. Uh, Wolfgang Monzer from Germany, Ranchport Press Agency. Either question for Greg or for Brad. After this terrible accident, um, I was already in America and looked online what was written in Europe, especially in Germany. And I think there were a lot of speculation and the reports were totally wrong. Maybe went into the direction of a defamation. When all the investigations are completed, are you planning to put this right and inform the media this and this happened? Instead of media, especially in foreign countries, just writing speculation articles. Well, we, we certainly understand um, the media has a job to do. And while there may be some irresponsible reporting, um, right now the focus of everyone should be on the family um, that's grieving. And there, there has been some of that focus that hasn't been there. I'm quite certain um, when we get through this that um, everyone will get the story from the key parties. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. Uh, for Brett, will Jeff be your interim driver throughout, and are there any concerns about just kind of the overall stability of SHR? Uh, Jeff will be the driver this weekend at Michigan, and we have not discussed any other races. We'll uh, talk to Tony, and when he's ready to get in the car, he'll, he'll be in there, and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, sorry, what was your second question? Absolutely not. Kevin, Mike. Yeah, Brett, maybe you can clear this up. The way NASCAR rules work, Tony would have to start today to still be eligible for the races or for the chase if he were to win whatever down the road. Is this in effect his resigning from consideration for the chase this year? I'll be honest. The, the chase is of the lowest priority um, as it relates to Tony right now. Um, as far as the chase, the, the only care I have this weekend is to get Danica in the chase. Um, right now it's about um, getting Tony um, in, a, in a place, a better place than he is right now. And when he's ready to do that, he'll get back in the car and care about the chase. Okay, we're, we're only going to take a one or two more. And, right over here. and then we'll finish with Claire. Matt Slavin, New York Times. For Jeff, do you feel that there's any entertainment value lost with the rule change this morning? I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's I think safety overrides entertainment. So even if it is, it doesn't matter. And we'll wrap up with Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Understandably, Tony is devastated, as you say, but a lot of people are wondering how how Tony is how Tony is doing. Can you? Just talk about where he's at right now. It's it's been an emotional week for him. Um, he's grieving, and uh, any time someone is lost, especially at a racetrack, it's it's tragic. Um, it was a tragic accident, and and he's dealing um, with quite a bit of grief. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate your time.